Hello everybody, my name is Mason, and I'm coming at you live from my living room. Why is that, you ask? Well, I'm about to start watching Obi-Wan Kenobi, which just dropped the first two episodes on Disney Plus today. And I'm excited. And so I'm going to review these first two episodes as I finish them, because I want to talk about it. I'm so excited for Disney Plus is Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is probably my most anticipated Star Wars show, even more than Mandalorian Season 3. I'm not so much a prequel lover, but I do like them, and I especially like Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Hayden Christensen, ugh, Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, and seeing them in this show, especially obviously Ewan McGregor, is going to be awesome. So anyway, I'm going to start the first episode and I will catch you when that is over. All right, so I've just watched the first episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi and I'm going to give my quick non-spoiler thoughts and then I will start talking about the episode in detail and everything that happened and what I liked and disliked specifically. But as for just a general reaction, I quite enjoyed this episode. It had the tone that I wasn't really expecting, but I'm very happy that was there. And that is, it was very somber, you know. Obi-Wan is obviously defeated, you know, from the end of episode three. He's lost his, you know, people, his religion. He's lost his friend, his brother, his apprentice. He's lost everything. And clearly he is not handling it very well, right? It's been 10 years since episode three, which we knew about going into it, but you know, he's been thinking about this stuff for 10 years. And the whole episode is just somber. And I, I quite enjoyed that. I wasn't really thrilled with the idea of just being like, oh, we're going on an adventure, you know? It feels very real in that matter. I love the music in this episode. It's very Star Wars-y and they, they don't play any of the, you know, the hits or anything, but it very reminiscent of that. And it just, it made it feel like Star Wars. And I'm so happy about that. Some of the cinematography was quite exceptional. They're, obviously it's a desert planet. There's not a whole lot to show, but just the way some of the shots are lined up in the desert where Obi-Wan is traveling, you know, it's very pretty. And it, it's weird to say about just a, a desert, right? But Deborah Chow, the director, pulled it off very well. You know, they, they've got these shots lined up that just make you feel like and it really goes with the tone of just somber, right? Just empty desert. And yeah, I, I don't have any negatives about the episode, at least in a non-spoiler way. There are some negatives that I do have that I can't really talk about without giving away some stuff. But overall, I liked this episode quite a bit. It is a great first episode introduction to where Obi-Wan is at and where he is going for the rest of this limited series. So yeah, I give it big thumbs up. And now I'm going to go into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, do not continue on. I don't want some of these things to be ruined for you. I'd like you to go in and experience it. If you have, stick around because I have some things I want to talk about. But if you need to leave, just add this video to your watch later and come back.
but while you're waiting, you can go ahead and leave a like on this video. Of course, it always helps. But anyway, for those that don't want to be spoiled, bye bye. And I'm going to talk about spoilers now in three, two, one. Okay, so negatives. Let's talk about negatives first. At, at first, I wasn't too happy about the whole Princess Leia stuff because this is an Obi-Wan story and like why are you showing me Princess Leia? She is not on Tatooine, right? The kid actress, I thought she's great. I thought she was adorable, very likable kid. I thought she was cool. And you know, I even like what they were doing with her, but you know, initial reaction, I'm like, really? Come on, this is, you're, you're showing me stuff that isn't really necessary, or at least I thought at the time, right? And I was like, mm. but I will say that now that the story, the, the episode completed, you know, when she's kidnapped and then essentially taken by uh, what's in the third sister inquisitor? I thought, okay, so they're going somewhere with this. It's not just, oh, look, it's Princess Leia, you know, like they did with Luke in this episode, which, I mean, they can't really do much with Luke because he's not supposed to meet Ben Kenobi yet. But yeah, so the Princess Leia stuff. Didn't like it at first. It's growing on me. At least it's going somewhere. It's not just, you know, fluff cameo of Princess Leia as a child. Um, as far as another negative, and I want to get the negatives out of the way first so I can talk about the the, the good things, because I think this episode is really good. But another negative, I think the Inquisitors, at least the performances, are a little off. If that makes sense. Like the third sister Inquisitor. She is. Just the way she performs her. You know. Oh I'm tough. Kind of thing is. It's lacking for me. And that could just be. You know. The lines that she was given. And the way she was told to do this. It just seemed a little. Overacted. I guess. But. I mean, all three of the Inquisitors that we've seen, I thought were cool, at least. You know, the the head Inquisitor or whatever, he looks cool. He sounded kind of weird first, but it kind of grew on me, and then he, I thought he sounded cool. The other one, I don't remember his name, but he's got that helmet. I thought he looked cool, too. I like that helmet on him. Uh... Don't have a whole lot to say about him. They didn't give too much character development. But the third sister is what she's called. I thought, she, I think she's probably going to be like essentially the main antagonist of this story. I mean, they're pretty much setting it up that way. She clearly has some beef against Obi-Wan Kenobi from the past or something. I'm excited to see where that goes. Clearly, she's really ready to get this on, kidnapping Princess Leia to get Obi-Wan Kenobi out of hiding and then have the Jedi hunt themselves. I thought that was... At first, I thought that line was a little dumb <laughs> in, in the saloon thing, whatever they were calling it. But it also kind of grew on me. I, I, I like that. Jedi hunt themselves. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? The, the the Uncle Owen stuff. I thought that was nice. He clearly is pretty pissed <laughs> at Obi-Wan. Very reluctant to even live on the same planet with him. But the fact that he didn't give up Obi-Wan was pretty badass. You know, willing to risk his life. And... You know, those Inquisitors weren't even hunting Obi-Wan. They were hunting that other guy. 
but you know he stood his ground and obviously it worked out and i guess that's another thing that is a negative and it's not really anything they can do about it it's just the problem with prequel stuff is that there aren't really any stakes for the main characters that you know are going to be in the original trilogy so i'm like okay obviously uncle owen's gonna be fine obviously obi-wan kenobi will be fine so there's not a whole lot of stakes in that matter but i i thought for what they were working with it was it was exceptional in that case and the third sister she was pretty terrifying in that scene a little overacted like i saying but overall i think i think she's going to be a character that people talk about and like okay this is a good villain hopefully because obviously we don't want any bad villains in this movie or it's not a movie i guess it's a show <laughs> anyway I'm so used to talking about movies right yeah so overall i liked this first episode and i'm about to start watching the second one now but i will do a separate video for that because gotta make that content right <laughs> Anyway, overall, great episode. Can't wait for the second one. And yeah, so those are my thoughts. If you like this video, feel free to show your support by liking it and subscribing. I plan on doing the whole Obi-Wan series because I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I'm excited to talk about it. Anyway, comment section ugh, in the comment section down below, tell me what you thought of the episode now that you have talked spoilers with me talk about them down below anyway until next time which will be very soon for you very 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 soon for me i will see you in the next video take care